Today on the Crafter's Forge, let's paint something nasty. The Lust Avatar from Cool Minis or Not, board game The Others. This is from their expansion, Seven Sins. I also purchased The Others paint line from Army Painter. Just so I can paint the rest of my expansion with the custom colors. And here they are. Here she is, all primed up with black. So first up, I'm using Lust. I love this off-white. It has like a little pink hue to it, but still white. So I'm gonna add it with the little bit of leftover black that I have in my paintbrush. Mix it up to a uh, gray. Now I'm going to spray top down Zenithal Pre Shade. Locking it right in. Second pass, Zenithal style. Now I'm gonna hit the top portion of the miniature here. Trying to do the concept art from the player's card. Locking it in a little bit more, all the way down. Here she is. Looking at the player's card here. As you see right here, it's white, then it's red, and it's like black. So now, I'm gonna be going to the Gluttony, which is like a reddish purple. Another great color from the line. So right here, you can't see it, but I'm hitting it from the hands all the way up to the elbow. And now on her lower legs, lower part of her legs, and the lower part of her stomach and butt. Locking it right in. Give it in the second pass to get that nice red look. Now to some sloth, which is like a purplish gray. Now we're going to spray her hands up to her wrist and her feet to her knees. Two thin coats. It's looking all right so far. Look at the player's card here, making sure that we get in the base coats and to where they need to be. Now we're gonna use some greed, uh, some greed, which is an orange. We're gonna spray a little bit over the gluttony and the lust to bring some warmth and some fleshiness to it. Now it's starting to look like the concept art. Gonna hit a little bit on their face. Just a little bit. It's mostly air, a little bit of paint. Boom, now it's starting to look like it. It's starting to come together.
Now we're gonna go back to some must to get some paleness to that skin tone of the green, uh, the greed and the gluttony. Just top down Zenithal style. Trying to get those, the, the heads of her belly, the children coming out of her, her gut. Yeah. Locking it right in. Boom, look at that. It's looking real good. Hitting her faces, or her heads again, just to make sure that they're completely pale. It's looking pretty good. Now to the wet palette. Soaking it down with some fresh water and a fresh piece of paper. Making sure that paper is nice and flat, no air bubbles. After putting it down like this, I give it a couple seconds. Now I'm gonna try to spread it all out. Time for some washes. First up, we're gonna use some red tone, some flesh tone, and some purple tone. So first we're gonna use the purple tone, hitting the hands, as you see right here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of water, thin it down just a little bit. Now we're gonna hit her hands. Wherever I sprayed the uh, sloth, I'm actually gonna hit it with that purple. So now we're gonna go to that red tone and we're gonna hit all the midsection here. Her lower part, her, her belly, her elbows all the way down to her wrist, the lower part of her butt, locking it right in. This just gives everything a little bit more contrast, a little bit more depth. And it helps blend these colors together. Try not to make, I'm, I'm making sure that there's no pooling. Now to some flesh tone. This flesh tone is like a little mixture of red and brown. Now we're gonna hit the top part of her Trying to lock it all in, get that red in the flesh tone to blend together, making sure there's no pooling, making sure it's getting into those recesses, giving the, the, the lust a little bit of staining, so it's going to bring some life to it. As you see right here, I'm feathering it out. Make sure there's no pooling. It's looking real good. And whatever I had on my brush, I just hit everywhere on the miniature so everything blended together. As you see right here, hitting everything just a little bit more with that flesh tone. Even on the lower parts of the arms, of her butt, her legs. Boom, it's coming to life. All right, so now we're going to some glistening blood. It's gonna be for her mouth and all the sores that are ripped open and her tongue.
Locking it right in. As you see, I'm hitting the little baby mouths right here that are protruding from her belly. It's looking pretty sick right here. Now back to some greed. I'm going to thin it right down to a glaze and I'm going to hit all these boils and pustules and all that stuff with a little bit of glaze. It's going to make it look real nasty and sore. Just using the tip of my brush, light pressure. Everywhere where I think it should be uh, that orange color, I'm going to lock it right in. It's looking real nasty now. This camera is not doing it justice, but it is coming out just like the concept art. All right, so I ran out of black paint, but I have black surface primer from Vallejo and I'm going to use it as just regular paint even though it's a primer it's black I needed black so I'm going to use it it was it pretty much an arm's reach so I was just like you know what I'm just going to use it so there it is with the black hair all painted up now we're going to go back to the uh glistening blood for some blood effects some of these sores have busted open and now are bleeding out like you see here let's add some more blood run it down real thin like like they're running right down here all these sores that busted open yeah Pretty much giving her some character. Remember, you use light pressure. Hitting all the spots that I think should be uh, ripped open and showing some blood. It's looking real nasty. A little bit of artist. Freedom right here. Taking some liberty and add some more detail. See how I'm doing that? I'm just adding a little bit and then running a small line down the arm. And then taking my finger and just wiping it away. It's pretty much just setting it right in. It's looking real good. little bit goes a long way she's looking real nasty I wouldn't want to run with into her in the game If you like these videos and tutorials, hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll get notified when I upload new videos.